Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Wang Chen and Wei Yi. This is a game from a Chinese team championship played in 2016. You got to be real good to play in Chinese chess championship. Wang Chen had white pieces and he started with e4. Wei Yi played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, Rosolimo attack. g6, Wang Chen castled kingside. Bishop to g7, knight to c3, knight to f6, and now d3. Rook to e1, and e5 are the two most played moves. d3 was played. Wei Yi castled kingside. Bishop takes knight on c6, and Wei Yi captured towards the center. Rook to b1. Bishop to e3 is the most played move. Rook to b1 was played. d6, b3, and now knight to h5. Why to move? Knight to e2 was played. Maybe Wang Chen didn't like bishop to b2 because then knight may jump to f4. So we have knight to e2, e5, knight to d2, intending knight to c4, but this allows queen to h4. Knight to c4, provoking d5, and then the pawn on c5 would have no protection. d5, accepting the challenge, Knight to d2, f5. Bishop to a3, attacking the pawn on c5. How to defend the pawn? How would you defend the pawn? Perhaps queen to e7 is possible. It's not very attractive. Wei Yi played d takes on e4. d takes on e4. And now rook to d8, pinning the knight on d2. Queen to e1 and pinning. If instead bishop takes on c5, then black can play bishop to h6. Very unpleasant. So we have a queen to e1, bishop to h6, attacking the knight, rook to d1. Perhaps knight to f3 should have been considered. It doesn't look good at first because queen takes on e4. But then white can play queen to a5 with a more active position. We have rook to d1. f takes on e4. Bishop takes pawn on c5. Perhaps player with white pieces Wang Chen was happy with his position because material is equal and he even has a better pawn structure. The game continued. Rook to d5 attacking the bishop. g3 attacking the queen. Perhaps bishop to b4 should have been considered. But even then, black may be better after a5. We have g3 attacking the queen. Queen to h3, too close to the comfort of white king. Knight takes pawn on e4, winning the pawn and defending the bishop. Is by doing well or not? If rook takes on d1, then queen takes rook and white is better. This is a very important moment of the game. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Wei Yi played the best move. Bishop to f5, developing the bishop and attacking the defender of the bishop on c5. Knight from 2 to c3. If f3, bishop takes on e4, f takes on e4, rook takes bishop. So we have knight from 2 to c3. Black to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for black in this position. Did you pause? 
What did you find? The way he played rook takes bishop on c5. A surprise move. Knight takes on c5. What now? What was the idea behind the exchange sacrifice? Please pause again and find the killer move that Wei Yi played in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Wei Yi played knight to f4, threatening queen to g2, checkmate. Pawn takes knight, bishop takes pawn on f4. Why? Blake didn't play earlier knight to f4. Let's go back. In this position, if instead rook takes bishop, Black plays knight to f4 immediately, then pawn takes knight, and after bishop takes on f4, knight to g3. Black is still better after rook takes bishop on c5, but the game would last longer. Back to our game. So we have rook takes bishop, deflecting the knight from g3 square. Knight takes rook, knight to f4, Pawn takes knight, bishop takes on f4, and white resigned. There is no sensible defense against queen takes pawn on h2 checkmate. Let's play some random move. Queen takes pawn, checkmate. Nicely played game by Wei Yi. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.